See that Patriots Seahawks I was gonna game say, was going to be nuts, bro. I was going to say because the 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 Seahawks defense looked really good with Jamal Adams back out there. He was very productive, man. He was flying around making a ton of plays. I think the addition of him definitely makes their defense a lot better, just because it's a younger, fresher version of what they were used to with Earl Thomas and things like that. I think that's going to look good. Um, obviously Russell Wilson and that offense looks really good, but they were going against the Falcons, so we have to keep it in context. But ultimately, man. I think that that's going to be interesting to see how Belichick and the Patriots defense try to minimize what the Seahawks have been able to do on the offensive standpoint in week one. But I'm excited about Cam, man. Cam looked good in week one, Mm -hmm. man. He was clean. Um, I like how they utilized him in terms of uh, some of the zone read stuff. You could just see that element changed everything for that offense. I do want to see more consistency, though. Where it will work even with the lack of weapons. Yeah. But my thing is this, though. I need to see more consistency out the receivers if they're not going to be elite receivers in terms of like your true number one guys, like how we go down those lists and things like that, you have to make the routine plays. And I know when I was watching that game, man, it was a couple of routine drops that they had. I know Edelman had a big drop early in the game. Like that's the type of stuff you can't have happening. If you're not the type of receivers that are just winning all the time, you got to make sure that you're doing all the routine stuff the right way, man. So they can still be in these games because that Dolphins team is, is a lot better than last year. But that Dolphins team isn't going to be able to hang with some of these top tier teams. And if the Patriots want to be a playoff team, they're going to have to be able to produce at a higher level than that. That game was interesting because I never really felt like the Dolphins <laughs> were ever going to win it. But at the same but they time, were never out of it either. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't seem like they were playing the Patriots bad in terms of their defense versus the Patriots offense. Correct. Obviously, Cam got his touchdowns, but I think you know if you're going into that game and and the Patriots offense is only able to do that, mm-hmm. you got a shot to win. It was the three interceptions yeah. by Fitzpatrick that really screwed them. Well, the three interceptions, but also they were very conservative in terms of how they used Cam in that game. One, it was a couple of you know short yardage situations where it's like. Man, you got Cam. Why aren't you just running his own read? Why aren't you doing something where he's at least rolling out, getting a chance to have a throw, uh, a run or a throw option out of it? They weren't really putting him in those type of situations. I don't know if, well, I personally am leaning towards it because it was the first game, just trying to fill each other out. You try to go for what you know in certain scenarios until he can continue to build that rapport with the coaching staff. And I just kind of lean towards that. But I don't expect them to be that conservative going forward, where it's third and one, fourth and one, and you're not giving Cam opportunity to go for it or make a play on it. That That's my whole thing. 